Did you know there are hidden indigenous black tribes, rarely talked about, whose existence spans deep in the Pacific, Asia, and Australia? Contrary to the conventional narrative, black people are not confined solely to Africa. Instead, they are the original inhabitants of our entire globe, weaving a tapestry of existence in lands, yet to be discovered by the mainstream. Picture this, black indigenous communities, flourishing in the shadows of Asia, Australia, and the Pacific for tens of thousands of years, silently contributing to the rich diversity of our world. Intriguingly, the world has remained oblivious to this interconnected narrative. What if all this time we've overlooked the profound link between these dispersed black communities and their African roots? Unveiling this hidden history will reveal a captivating tale of intermingling, adaptation, and the creation of unique identities. These black pioneers, residing in Asia, Australia, and the Pacific, have not merely coexisted, they've intermarried, creating a distinctive fusion of cultures. They have safeguarded their unmistakable black traits while assimilating local customs, carving out a singular identity that defies geographic boundaries. Join us as we uncover the vibrant stories of these hidden indigenous black populations, discover their rich culture, see what they look like now, and unravel the beauty they've preserved. But before we continue, please don't forget to hit on the like button. Subscribe to the channel and share the video. Your support means a lot to us. Let's get right to the video. The first on our list are the Pacific Islanders. Pacific Islanders encompass the diverse populations residing in the Pacific Islands, and the term is used ethnically and racially to refer to the original inhabitants and diasporas across the three key subregions, which are Melanesia, Micronesia, and Polynesia. Interestingly, the term Melanesia is derived from melanin, emphasizing the dark complexion of the people in this region. The countries that Black Pacific Islanders come from are mainly Melanesian, which comprises of the Solomon Islanders, where you will meet the only black people with blonde hair, Vanuatu, and Fiji. The Negritos. Negrito is the collective term referring to the indigenous people of the Philippines with a hunter-gatherer background, including the Ogda, Ida, Ota, and Badak people. Representing the oldest civilization in the country, dating back over 50,000 years, they are presumed to be the original inhabitants of the archipelago. Many Negrito groups maintain a hunter-gatherer lifestyle, trading wild meat and forest products with Filipino farmers for rice or corn, and engaging in some marginal cultivation. The Kanak people of New Caledonia. Nestled in the heart of the South Pacific New Caledonia is an enchanting archipelago with turquoise waters, lush landscapes, and vibrant cultures. Among the mosaic of societies in this idyllic haven, the Karnak people are a testament to the island's rich history and diverse heritage. These new Caledonia indigenous people trace their origins to the ancient Lapita culture, known for seafaring prowess and skilled pottery. This Austronesian group, originating in Southeast Asia, settled in the Melanesian islands. Today, the Karnak people constitute about 39% of New Caledonia's population, showcasing a diverse heritage shaped by centuries of interaction with neighboring Pacific Island communities and European explorers. Recent genetic studies offer intriguing insights into the Karnak population's ancestral makeup, revealing a blend of Austronesian and Melanesian influences. The Veda people. The Veda people, a minority indigenous group in Sri Lanka, who may become completely assimilated, with most speaking Sinhala instead of their indigenous languages which are nearing extinction. It has been hypothesized that the Veda were probably the earliest inhabitants of Sri Lanka, having lived on the island since before the arrival of other ethnic groups in India. Their arrival is tentatively dated to about 40,000 to 35,000 years ago. Genetic studies indicate that prevalent branches of haplogroups are likely derived from Indian subcontinent ancestors. Phenotypically, the Veda display a deep brown complexion likened to black Africans, with facial features resembling Ethiopians and Sudanese. Although not culturally black, their dark complexion mirrors that of sub-Saharan Africans. Next are the black people of Australia. Australian Aborigines are the indigenous people of Australia, constituting approximately 400,000 individuals and around 2% of the country's total population, 
according to recent government statistics. A prevailing and fascinating theory suggests that these early migrants originated from Africa about 70,000 years ago, establishing Aboriginal Australians as the oldest human population outside Africa. Aborigines typically exhibit dark brown skin and pronounced facial features, with many having straight dark hair. Interestingly, some, especially the Torres Strait Islanders, have blonde and brown hair. Contrary to the misconception that they are native to Asia, the ancestors of the Aborigines migrated from Africa, Pakistan and India many years ago. The African ancestors of the Torres Strait Islanders were reportedly taken to India and Pakistan as slaves, domestic servants, concubines, palace guards and soldiers, or ventured there as sailors and free merchants. This historical migration is connected to commercial interactions between Asia, the Arabian Peninsula, and Eastern Africa. Now, let's talk about the black people of Asia, the Andamanese. The Andamanese are the various indigenous people of the Andaman Islands, part of India's Andaman and Nicobar Islands Union Territory, in the southeastern part of the Bay of Bengal in Southeast Asia. All Andamanese traditionally lived the hunter-gatherer lifestyle and appear to have lived in substantial isolation for thousands of years. Experts believe that the Andamanese settled in the Andaman Islands around the latest glacial maximum around 26,000 years ago. The Andamanese people include the Great Andamanese and Jarawas of the Great Andaman Archipelago, the Jangle of Rutland Island, the Anjavutal Andaman, and the Sentinels of North Sentinel Island. The Sentinels are famous for being active in resisting outside influence and have been known to finish off anybody seeking to invade their islands. Since they live in regions unreachable from the modern world, their habitats are untouched. Despite their African-like appearance, the Andamanese possess a unique facial look. Then comes the Manic people who live in the rainforests of southern Thailand. While the origins of the Manic people remain mysterious, anthropological research suggests they are part of the broader group of proto malic ethnic communities. Their facial features and physical traits look like those of the black people of Africa, but they are different in their own way. Due to geographical distance and a completely isolated environment, the Manic people adapted to their atmosphere, which shaped them and their traits. You should know that the Manic people rank among the smallest ethnic groups in Thailand. Genetic studies have uncovered a distinctive genetic heritage, reflecting their isolation and distinct way of life. Their genetic markers show connections to other indigenous groups in the region and ancient populations that inhabited Southeast Asia. Often characterized by darker skin and hair, the Manic people's phenotype reflects adaptations to their forested environment, including enhanced visual sensitivity and agility that aid them in hunting and gathering activities. Next in line are the Samang and Batak people, residing in Malaysia. Tracing their origins back to the ancient inhabitants of the Malay Peninsula, they significantly contribute to the diverse indigenous population of Malaysia. Remarkably, these communities have thrived in the region for millennia, safeguarding their unique way of life through the shifts of history. As integral parts of the broader Orang Gaslai community, which translates to original people in Malay, they underscore their status as the earliest inhabitants of the peninsula. Research indicates that these communities share genetic markers with other indigenous populations in Southeast Asia and Austro-Melanesian groups. Physically, both the Samang and Batak people display distinctive traits finely tuned to their environment. Their shorter stature darker skin and robust physique are adaptations to the challenges posed by the dense rainforest and the necessities of their traditional hunter-gatherer lifestyle. Then we see the Tamil people, a Dravidian dark-skinned ethno-linguistic group that trace their ancestry mainly to India's southern state of Tamil Nadu, the Union Territory of Puducherry and Sri Lanka, constituting 5.9% of the population in India and 15% in Sri Lanka Tamils. They do not identify themselves as black, but possess notable dark complexion and facial features. It's just profound that the Tamils have preserved their color while adapting the culture and traditions of other local populations of India. Kafirs are the indigenous people of Sri Lanka. The origins of the Sri Lankan Kafirs can be traced back to the 16th century, when Portuguese colonists brought African slaves to the island. 
primarily of Bantu and Kisan descent, from regions now known as Mozambique, Tanzania, and South Africa. Over time, these African individuals intermingled with the local population, resulting in a unique ethnic group called the Kafirs. Their genetics have developed through intermarriage with other ethnic groups, contributing to a unique blend of African and Sri Lankan characteristics. Their phenotype often features a range of skin tones, hair textures, and facial features, reflecting the diverse ancestral heritage that define their identity. East Timores, Nestled in Southeast Asia's maritime heart, East Timor boasts breathtaking landscapes and a rich cultural tapestry. The Austronesian migrations that occurred thousands of years ago brought together diverse ethnic groups, including the Atoni, Titum, Mumbai, and Bunok. With an estimated population of 1.3 million, the East Timorese inhabit the eastern part of Timor, sharing the island with Indonesia. Austronesian, Southeast Asian, and Melanesian influences contribute to their genetic diversity, reflected in variations in skin tones, facial features, and hair textures. Isn't it intriguing how these individuals of African descent have undergone distinct evolutionary paths while retaining their distinctive traits? What are your insights on the influence of culture and environment in shaping the uniqueness and beauty of these black communities? Share your thoughts on whether you've encountered indigenous black populations from continents beyond Africa. If you found this video enlightening, please hit on the like button, share, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon next to it. Your support encourages us to keep sharing the diverse and rich cultures of our black heritage. Thanks for watching. See you all in our next video.